Precious Jesus, I am ready to Just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know that says the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, Spring. 
trust him on.
is like a river attendeth my way when so Brethren, children of God, people of God, friends, family, and relatives of Shem, Biakagaba, gathered here at this chapel, All Saints uh, Chapel at Lueza, and online, we welcome you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for connecting. The link, those who are online, the service will soon start. The casket has arrived at the, at the church and the family is on its way in a few minutes time. I do encourage us to lift our hearts as we worship God even in this difficult time. And as the choir leads us, I encourage all of us to sing with them and focus our eyes on God alone who is our hope. And that's the only reason we can sing that it is well even at such a time. The service will commence shortly. Kindly stay um, in prayer that the Lord will be glorified even through such a difficult time. It is well. The Satan should Yeah. 
in my face shall be sight. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall be
brothers and sisters in Christ, we welcome you all at this uh, celebration of Shem's life. We want to thank you for coming and uh, we request that we all stand and join together in a song led by the choir as we begin. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no as this we can still say great is thy faithfulness you are a faithful God and you do all things in accordance to your will and so God we stand here to say thank you thank you Lord for the life that you give us in this world thank you Lord for the opportunity to give you give to us to be able to live with the gratitude oh Lord maximizing every minute of the life that you've given us here Lord, we surrender this time to you. We surrender this service to you. Lord, we pray that you calm our hearts. Put our thoughts and minds together. Cause us to focus on you. 
cause us to see you, cause us to hear your voice, cause us to understand that you are the Lord, help us to know that you are in control. And so, Father, control our emotions. We give ourselves to you. We surrender Doreen and the children to you. Lord, every moment of this service, O oh Lord, may you be in the midst of us to bring comfort. Lord, be with us and we dedicate all that we are, all who we are to you, that God, you reign in this service. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you. Uh, before us is the Assistant Bishop of the Diocese of Kampala, the Right Reverend Dr. Huntington Mutevi, who is our preacher. Bishop, you are welcome. We have, uh, we have Reverend Canon uh, Diana Nkesiga, uh, who is with us here. Canon, you are welcome. Uh, we have uh, your very own Reverend uh, Emmanuel Kalagala. We have Reverend Evert Mugarura is here with us. Reverend Jasper Tumuhimbise, Reverend um, Hilary Jaffo uh, is here with us, and Reverend Akwech Chrysostom, and I'm Reverend Rebecca Nyegenye. So we'll be leading you in the service as uh, together we celebrate a life that has been well lived and trusting God that he will be able to comfort us. Um, we are going to, the order of service will be coming in shortly, but let's continue. The law, word of the Lord in Job chapter 19, verse 25 to 27 comforts us with these words. I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand on the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I am not another. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are also encouraged in Psalm 46, verse 1, that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies and compassion never come to an end. They are new every morning. Friends, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And Paul says in Romans 8, 38 to 39, For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Together we are going to pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, in your son, Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days, that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We'll remain standing as we read the psalm together. And Reverend Kalagala is going to guide us in the reading of the psalm. The psalm, we read Psalm 46. Psalm 46. God is our refugee and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, 
and the mountains quake with surging. There is a river, streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at, at break of the day. Nations and uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord and the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes walls cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shield with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us sit, and uh, I'll invite my brother, uh, Engineer Richard Mugisa, to take us through the laying of the wreath. Thank you, um, Reverend Emmanuel Kagala, the bishop, and the entire clergy. We're very blessed to the bishop and entire clergy. We're very blessed to have you in our midst. Brothers and sisters uh, gathered here, thank you for coming. Would like to invite the wrist, Lingon of Wreath, in this order. Um, we'll do the welcomes at a later time. But let me invite um, the wife of Shem, Kagaba. <laughs> <laughs> 